We're going to have a look at what integration is. It's most commonly known for finding areas under curves, uh, and that helps us with problems in probability, displacement, velocity, and acceleration, uh, to name a few. Integration also leads us to one of the most profound things in maths, which is the fundamental theorem of calculus. And what that does is uh, it establishes a nice relationship between slopes and areas. That's very cool. So without getting ahead of ourselves too much, we're gonna go to the basics. In order to integrate, you've gotta be able to differentiate. All right, it's useful to think as integration as the reverse process of differentiation. We sometimes call this taking the antiderivative of a function. But before we get into any integration, uh, let's revise differentiation. If we have a look at a function, and we can have a look at the slope values of the function, so we can have a look at the gradient at every x point. If we map the values of those slopes onto another graph, that's what we call a derivative. So integrating is the reverse process of this. We know the slope values, what's the actual function? So in this animation, we can see that the function is defined by its slope. However, the function can be mapped onto the Cartesian plane in many different ways. And all of those ways are correct. The reason they're correct is because they're just being shifted up or down by a constant. And if we think back to differentiation, when you differentiate a function, the constant cancels off. So you remove the constant. In integration, it should only make sense that if it's the reverse process, you add the constant back, right? So we're just gonna start off by taking some derivatives. We've got three here. Uh, first one, we've got y prime equals two x. Right, that's just the power rule. You take the power, bring it down, minus one from the power. We'll do it again here. Uh, we've got x squared, so that'll be two x plus five. That cancels off because the rate of change of a constant, it doesn't change. Third one here, y prime is equal to two x uh, minus three. Again, minus three has no rate of change. So we just have y prime equals 2x. Now hopefully in this animation we can see that the derivative being 2x tells us the slope values for all three of those parabolas. Again, it's really nice to be able to interpret what you're actually doing. So I just want you to jot this down for a minute. So when we differentiate, and we're just looking at polynomials for the time being. If we're differentiating, what we do is we multiply by the power, we subtract one from the power, and if there is a constant in our function, we remove it. So we remove the constant. That's how we deal with the power rule. Right? Very, very, we've done it so many times. If we're doing the reverse process of that, so that's called integrating, we're not going to minus one from the power, we're going to add one to the power. Right, because the opposite of subtraction is addition. We're not going to we're not going to multiply by the power. We're going to divide by the power. And if we're doing the reverse of differentiation and differentiation removed a constant, well, we should add it back because that's the opposite of removing. So we add back. So we add constant. Let's look at a formal example. So here we've got determine the derivative of f of x being equal to 2x. Just seen it. Right? When we take the antiderivative, what we're going to have here is 2x, add 1 to the power, so 2x squared, divided by the power, or the power, which is 2 here. We can simplify that, and what we also need to remember is we've got to plus a constant. Because if you just said the derivative, uh, sorry, the integral is x squared, you're giving one of an infinite set of solutions. You've got to have that plus c there. Okay? And you'd, you'd be done, right? You'd be done. But before we move on, I want to interpret what we've done because blind computation is just rote learning and that is not ideal. I want to generalize. So let's say we've got a function a x to the power of n, and you want to integrate said function. All right, these are just parameters, the little tweaks and dials. Uh, you've got ax to the power of n plus 1, because you add 1 to the power, divided by n plus 1, and you plus c. 
let's interpret this. So we've got our function 2x and then our derivative was x squared. So let's have a, let me just, yes, load, will you? So I've got Desmos embedded into OneNote, which is really cool. I didn't, didn't actually know you could do that, but there you go. Y equals 2x is our function here. Now we can see that this y equals 2x, that's what we wanted to find the antiderivative of. So in other words, think, what is the question telling you? It's saying y equals 2x is a function that tells you all of the slope values of another function. What's that other function? So if you really, if you just look at the function y equals 2x, as x is negative, you've got negative y values. That means you've got negative slopes. So whatever this function is doing, it's decreasing. And it's decreasing and decreasing until it hits the point x equals zero. So it's decreasing, then it's flat, and then it starts to increase. So that is a parabola, which is what we see here. If we load in the parabola, x squared plus c. Just to drill in this point of plus c, let's make it a positive number, 4.3. The parabola is decreasing, 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 and then it slows down, is flat at x equals zero, and then increases again. You can slide this along. Let's go negative 5.6, the parabola, decreasing the whole point until you get x equals zero, it's flat, and then it starts to increase for positive x values as defined by y equals 2x. Second example, a little bit tougher, just a polynomial. I encourage you to, if you want, you can pause this and try and find the integral of this function. So I'm going to uh, go on and assume you've paused and had a crack. Uh, so I just want to note, we can also write it as evaluate. And this little symbol here, it's kind of like an S. We'll get into it. It's just the integral. So you can see evaluate the integral of the function. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and do it. All right, so we've got, uh, I've got x squared, add one to the power, I get x cubed, divided by that power. I get three to divide by. Uh, minus 2x, I'm going to have squared, divide that by, that power 2. Uh, 1, I can think, well, okay, I'm going to have x there. And I guess the way you can double check this is you can differentiate your integral and you should get back to what you had. Okay, so the derivative of x is just 1. And then I'm going to have a plus c here. And if I clean this up, I get x cubed on 3 minus, those will cancel off, x squared plus x plus c. And hooray, hurrah, you've got the integral. Again, I encourage you to stop, think, try and interpret what you've done. Let's have a look at what we've done here. So we'll load up our Desmos graph here. Load. Now what we've got is we had, we had a function, which was that y equals uh, x squared minus 2x plus 1. That said, we want to find the integral of that. So what that means is here's a function, which is parabola, that tells you the slope values of some other function. What is the other function? And so I guess a way you can interpret what you found is, well, these values here, they're very, are they positive y values, implying that we've got an increasing slope on whatever this function is. So it's gonna be increasing, increasing, increasing. It kind of slows down as it increases at x equals one, it's flat and then it starts to increase again. So it's increasing, flat, increasing. That, well, that describes a cubic. So if we load that in there, that is what we've got. The cubic is increasing, and then it's flat, and then it's increasing. And again, this plus C doesn't matter. If you shift it down, it's still increasing, then flat at that same point, x equals one, and then increases for those same x points. You slide it up, increasing, slows down, flat, increasing. So that constant value doesn't change slope values as 